War with the Confederation of Arab States today entered its third year. While oil fields in the world's most oil-rich region continue to burn, Americans face long lines at the pumps, spiraling gas prices, and an ever-weakening economy. In other news, Senator Charles Lucas, chairman of the Joint Committee on Global Resources, issued a statement today that he... I've been trying to get into see all day. We really need to discuss... I'm late for a meeting with the Energy Secretary. He's in a bad enough mood as it is. Sorry for being so elusive, but since the oil crisis, I barely have time to take a piss, let alone have a conversation. It's all right. It's probably better if we talk away from it. Uh... You know I'd do anything for you, for Condor. Uh, I know the future of this company. But this, I just... I'm not sleeping at night. I just can't, Jared. I see. And what does your better half, Sarah, have to say? I didn't want to involve her. We never discussed it. She'll have my resignation this afternoon. Don't be absurd. Your reservations just confirm my own and my admiration for you. On to the next. Thank you. Triggers condone violence. Nah, uh, don't worry. I'll be gentle with you. Hey. Don't want to mess up that pretty face. Mine or yours? Uh, not really, but uh, I have to. It's just one. Chuck Waller's son. Shane? I'm always surprised to have that big could fit through doors. Well, he can cross-dress as far as I'm concerned. Do you have any idea how important a client trigger oil is? Oh, right. The Lucky Sperm Club. Hmm. I'll get right on it. You know, actually, there was somebody else, uh, an Ali G... Uh, no, no, no. Abby G something. Abby Gallagher? Yes! A hot ticket. We played powder puff football together. Leave it to Harvard Business School to give women's sports the respect it, it deserves. deserves. Yes. I want to meet her. We'll save your energy. She's off to change the world. Just get her to dinner. Okay. <laughs> You're bleeding. Let me get you a towel. I'm fine. Next time we'll go so easy on you. So I told him that's the price we're paying. Not a penny more, not a penny less. Guy Crumble. It's great. <laughs> it's great. I understand none of you guys made money this year. Why should I come to Delaney and Strong? Now, oh, there's the kind of long-term thing that made America great, huh? Mr. Waller. Shane, let me uh, freshen up your glass, though. Well, Delaney's really where I want to be at, and I really haven't uh, pursued it. Excuse me. That's, uh... <laughs> you owe me big. 
think of it as sociological research. And be nice. I work with these people. Hello. <laughs> what, you get lost in your way to save a whales meeting? How's your face? <sighs> now, kids, behave. Tom Hansen. Abby Gallagher. Oh. Shane, should we go graze the food table? Sure. I'll talk to you later. I'll take good care of him. My uh, buddy Bob Roseman said I should keep an eye on you. You're friends with Bob Roseman. And you're going to be a Harvard MBA. Touche. Bob told me about your idea to package alternative energy tax credits. Pure genius. Pretty sure the government never expected anyone to actually be able to use them. You think? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm working with an environmental lobbying group trying That's to... That's great. Here's a heretical thought. Bring it to us. On Wall Street, you can see it happen in real time. I can help you make it happen. Uh, somehow you don't strike me as the real environmentalist type. Well, you think they make us check our beliefs at the door? Okay, they do. Look at these guys. I know. Every single one of them knows exactly what they want. And they're willing to do whatever it takes to get it. Are you? Listen, Delaney and Strong can make a lot of money with your energy tax plan, which means they'll be all over it, which means it'll get done, which means all these companies that are developing alternative energy will finally get the money they so desperately need. So, at the end of the day, it's about results. I mean, all the good intentions of the world aren't going to save the planet. It's just a thought. It's nice meeting you. By the way, you, uh, you have a great smile. You should use it more often. Cash balances are dangerously low. A hundred year legacy rests on our shoulders. I do not intend to preside over the dismantling of Delaney and Strong. I called you all together because as senior members of this firm, it's your job to get out on the street, shake the trees, do whatever it takes to bring in some deals. Excuse me, I should take this. Well, hopefully that's some good news about the Rockport deal. If we're counting on him to bail us out. We're in worse shape than I thought. How much revenue has he produced this year? None? Lay off the guy. He just got taken to cleaners by his ex. Something many of us can relate to. But that guy's a rainmaker. If anyone will bounce back, he will. And I don't see Condor banging down our door either. Rumor has it they've got a sweet little takeover brewing, and that's going to be a big payday for someone. I don't care who brings in the business, but someone better start pulling in some serious fees. Soon. Sarah! What? He was murdered. I don't know. Oh, my God. Last night, they even asked to play his car in the car. Come in. Thank you. Is that your warped idea of career counseling? <laughs> well, they say those who can't do teach. I take it this means you met Tom. <laughs> yeah. At this hideous... Delaney and Strong recruiting event? My condolences. 
You know, not that you need any career advice, uh, someone as talented as yourself, but this guy, Tom, happens to be a brilliant guy. Yeah, well, he was surprisingly compelling. And his firm has managed to dodge every scandal, and every one of your classmates would give his or her eye teeth for this job. But you? Wall Street? I don't even know what to say. It is just such... Bullshit. Yeah. But the job market is impossible, and who knows, maybe someday this money will come in handy. You want to throw me into that nest of vipers? They say if you want to destroy the nest, you don't throw in another snake. You toss in a mongoose and hope that she stays a mongoose. Um, Gary Tolson, I'd like to express my condolences. I understand you were Rich's closest friend. Thank you. He was a, uh, he was a huge fan of yours. Yes. It was mutual. Quite a shock. Yeah, it is. I was wondering, uh, if you could, uh, make an appointment to come into our offices? There's something that Richard was working on before. I'd uh, like to have the opportunity to chat with you about it. I'd, uh, I'd be honored. Thank you. Nice to meet you. seem to know each other. Well, Gino's got a pretty big mouth. Or we've both done our research. <sighs> yeah. Well, uh, I guess further research would require that I get your telephone number. The state dropped by unexpectedly. As excuses go, <laughs> they holding up. I can't believe he's gone. Yeah. Richard was like a son to me. Yes. Your meeting with the Sheik is in ten minutes. I'll be there. <laughs> it's been a bit hectic. Everyone's on edge, especially in Washington. Come, let's sit down. reason that I asked you to come by, Richard was working on a large transaction. We're looking for an investment banker to advise us. Under the circumstances, I'd like to honor Richard's wishes by hiring you. Richard's? 
It's a bit awkward, given our history with Hank Weiss. But... Hank is certainly thorough, and uh, he does know this field. He does? <laughs> but he's a bit too close to our chief competitor. In fact, I hear Chuck Wallace's son is headed for your firm. Better make sure he's not a mole for Traeger, huh? Or the ethics task force, for that matter. I'll keep an eye on him. Good. I assume you're willing to step in. Most definitely. And I'll lay it out for you. We're looking to buy out one of our chief competitors, Black Star. That's a Russian company. They're privately held, right? That's right. The oil fields are all in Kazakhstan. What I need from you is help selling it to my board and a fairness opinion. The deal is worth about 20 billion, and we will pay you 25 million for your efforts. And you can tell John Cortland that Delaney's squeaky clean image was a major factor in my decision. I'm sure, he'll be delighted to hear that. <laughs> Good. We can go over the geological reports together next week. But I really must stress the importance of confidentiality. It is absolutely critical. Of course. Thank you. Not possible. Tom wouldn't know an oil well if he fell into it. Are you doubting my information? How do you find this shit out? It's my business to know. Change my 11:30 to. Uh, That's my boy. Do you realize what these oil reserves could be worth? Come on, come on, get in here. 25 million bucks to the bottom line. Take a seat. At full capacity, Black Star shipment could cover a big chunk of the U.S. shortfall. I know, I know. This could have a huge impact on the oil crisis. Very exciting news. Should I be taking notes? Come on in. Well, maybe I'll learn something from our new oil and gas expert. What's your problem, Hank? I run the oil and gas department. Did you think I wouldn't notice you snaking in on one of my biggest clients? Your persecution complex is kicking in. Did you, did you take your medication today? What strings did you pull to get this deal? I'm sorry your buddy's dead, but that hardly qualifies you to write a fairness opinion. What? You're way in line, Hank. Am I? How the hell's a guy who's never set foot in the oil patch going to evaluate the assets? If anyone in this firm should thank Tom, it should be you. Is that right? Oh, give it a rest, Hank. I mean, you got your tongue so far up Traeger's ass, the condor was going to use Lehman. Would that help you sleep better at night? It's not like any of us need the fees, is it? Make sure you run everything by me first. No can do. They were specific about that. Oh, uh, Hank. Uh, you forgot to say congratulations. Yeah, it's good. He's not entirely wrong. I mean, what the hell do I know about evaluating oil assets? I wouldn't lose any sleep over it. My Jared Tolson's one of the most highly respected CEOs in America. I mean, this is a lay down. Gallagher. Well, pretty hot for an eco-terrorist. Oh my god, my summer was great. How's yours? Thanks for asking. Shane Wall. Thank you. We've cleared the conflicts on the Condor transaction. Congratulations. Here, here. Nice. Now you have another agenda item as well. Yes, it's a uh, new security I've been working on. I'm convinced this is a big opportunity for us, turning tax incentives for alternative energy into marketable securities. How novel, the public service. Will you be joining the Sierra Club? It's like pollution control bonds, transferring tax benefits from startups that can't use them to our more profitable clients that can. It's a market we estimate at roughly a billion dollars. What about Condor and Traeger? How will the oil companies react? These alternative energy companies are too small to pose any threat to the majors. And if any entrepreneur were to hit it big, you could just have your boys in the old patch buy them out and squash it. <laughs> but the real trick here is going to be to move quickly. We want to get ahead of our competitors. And before the credit's repealed. What's our take? 20 million, minimum. I like it. It's a big ticket at a critical time and a worthwhile endeavor. Good work, Tommy. Thank you. Jared Tolson's ready. All right, I got Traeger on hold. Look, tell Anderson to give the intro. I'll be down there as soon as I can. Right. 
Yeah, hello, Chuck. Yeah, I know. Listen, this deal was going to happen with or without us. I have the honor of introducing Jared Tolson, the CEO of Condor Oil and Gas. He is also one of our city's most generous philanthropists and a frequent guest at the White House. Mr. Tolson is paying your salaries this month. <laughs> Jared? <laughs> Thank you, John. <laughs> yes, it's an honor to be here. You are privileged to have been chosen by Delaney and Strong. This firm has a long and fine tradition of doing the best work for the best companies in the world. It's ripe with corporate malfeasance and general mistrust of Wall Street. You face the difficult challenge of maintaining this firm's high standards. You're undoubtedly aware of the ethics task force organized jointly by the Securities and Exchange Commission and the FBI. The fact that Washington feels it must watch over us, even going so far as to plant moles in our midst, is an embarrassment. We must restore trust in ourselves and confidence in our institutions. You are our future. Quit yourselves well. Thank you. Anna, well, we seem to be on the same schedule. Or I'm following you. In my dreams. Allow me. Watch your back in here. This place can be dangerous. Good afternoon, Mr. Tolson. Gentlemen. Ah, there he is. Man of the hour. Tommy. I'm gonna check my cover. Mr. Waller. Hello. Hello. Hi, Janice. Theo, get your ass over here. Gentlemen. Hey, Abby. Good to see you here. Janice, Theo. We worked together at my dad's company until he went over to the enemy camp. A so-called war. Besides, these days, our country is our best of friends. <laughs> Anna, this is, uh, this is Abby. She's our uh, new recruit, fresh from Harvard. Yay. Well, I'll let you two talk shop. I'm looking forward to continuing our research project. As am I. <clears throat> Another margarita, please. You must be Abby. Yes. You're Russian. Theo works for Blackstone. Or should I say, Condor? I'm glad to see the Chinese wall works so well at your firm. It works better when people stay on one side or the other. Shane kind of likes to straddle the fence. <laughs> Speaking of straddling, Shane, who is she? Abby Gallagher. We went to B school together. Excuse me. May I steal him for a moment? Please. Thank you. Excuse me. So, we've set the date for the board meeting. Oh, great. As long as it's not this week. Oh, next month. Fifteenth. Plenty of time to prepare. I'll be ready. Listen, there are Jared. some... I wanted to introduce you to one of our traders. He's been very active in your stock. He's just over here. Spears out. Mm -hmm. oh, Everything all right? Yeah, they were just setting the date for the board meeting. Not as long as it closes this quarter. Mm -hmm. Just keep your ears open. It's not my job. No. It's your gift. And I'd be very grateful. Well, she's a friend of mine. Good. Then you can use that. A2. This is Tom Hansen from Delaney and Strong. Is Jared Tolson available? I'm sorry, he's out of town. Uh, 
Um, how about, uh, Mr. Ralston? Oh, Lucy. Of course, Lucy. Sorry. I'll transfer you. Lucy Ralston? Lucy. Hey, this is Tom Hansen. I was a close friend of Richard Kester's. Is there any chance we could meet? Sure, I, I guess. I can come by your office tomorrow at 2.30. Here, um... I'll see you then. Thank you. Wow, what a great place to work, and what a great idea. After all, most people need air conditioning when the sun is hottest. Yeah, seems obvious to me. I'm having a little trouble breaking through, but I've got feelers out with a couple of trust fund babies. Well, I appreciate you meeting with me. You know, I think I have something that could help you. Hey, any friend of Ben's? You work with him doing eco-lobbying, right? Um, actually, I work with Delaney and Strong on Wall Street. I did a lot of work on alternative energy in graduate school. I'm working with Delaney now to help companies like yours raise money to market and develop their products. They knew that, right? At one point, we looked into selling stock, but as, as far as Wall Street's concerned, we're toxic. Well, I'm not talking about an IPO. See, we buy the energy tax credits you can't use, and we sell them to big corporations who need them. Cool. No, this one's cute, but no chance, and uh, no, that'll never go. Trying to sell based on doing the right thing. What was I thinking? You gotta stay focused on that irritating profit motive that drives corporate America. These are the rules, I didn't make them, I just play by them. Okay, what am I doing here? Who am I kidding? Hey, listen, I've been there. I wanted to save the world too. You, a kinder, gentler Gordon Gecko. It's funny. I don't know how I ended up here. I was an art major. But? Well, my parents, student loans. Somebody's got to pay my generous ex-wife. I see everyone else's name on that list but yours, but you're still here. Oh, I found out I was good at it. And I enjoy it. At least I used to. Listen. This is going to be a big score for you. And like it or not, you're good at it, too. Get back to work here. So this is how the other 0.5% live. Thank you. you're working on black star i can't help you you need to talk to jared look look i'm a little lost on this whole oil and gas valuation thing if you could just help me out a little bit just just the basics i'm desperate please the valuation parameters are simple you take the quantity of estimated reserves and multiply them by three dollars a barrel so according to this report black star's oil fields have roughly seven billion barrels of reserves hence jared's 20 billion dollar estimate right if that's what it says then that's what it says you have questions about the data? No. There's... Forget it. Please. What's the name is? Um, Lucy was just going through the valuation parameters. Very straightforward. Oh, good, good. <laughs> I didn't get a chance to ask her about the firm that uh, took the report. I've known the outfit for years. They're first class. Have you uh, cross-checked their estimates? I mean, it's a guessing game, isn't it? Trying to figure out what's underground. <laughs> well, you would be amazed at the latest technologies. 
You're new to the oil patch, Tom, but rest assured, this is how the game is always played. I assume Lucy also mentioned that while reserves are valued at $3 in the ground, their retail value is 10 times that. She, uh, she didn't mention that. By the way, she and Richard were close. Since his death, she's not been herself, and that's a pity. She had great potential. Curious, Tom. Do you think the market's likely to put up much resistance to the deal? Not at all. I think the uh, market will be more than happy with any deal that brings oil into the U.S. Well, that's what I thought. It's a, it's a pretty good fee without a lot of heavy lifting, isn't it? I gotta do the job. Exactly. Your luck again on Tuesday. Oh. Say eight o'clock. This condo of fairness opinion is going to put all her asses on the line. Well, Tom's back on his game. He can handle it. Tom's got a few too many balls in the air. Well, he's been there before. Tom can juggle with the best of them. Mm. I just got a call from Northgate. CEO is a bit put out that we send out only one of our junior associates. Well, he's been focused on Condor. Now, Jerry's a very demanding guy. That's why Abby went down there. She Jerome, did. if it's all the same to you, I'd rather not fuck up all our client relationships. I mean, you like the job, right? Fuck yeah, that's all I have left. Well, I'm running out of silver bullets, so do me a favor and get on this tax credit deal, okay? Right. Thank you. Dina, I need you to book me a flight to Milwaukee this afternoon. Anna, it's Tom. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to cancel dinner tonight. I've uh, got to go out of town on business. You're punishing me for not putting out, aren't you? <laughs> Absolutely not, but uh, for future reference, would that work? It's not. Coming! Surprise! Oh, God, I thought you were the turndown service. No, no, I uh, forgot the mints anyway. What are you doing here? Oh, uh, it's cost cuts. We, uh, we have to double up. Uh-huh, I mean in Milwaukee. Oh, uh, well, I couldn't pass up the chance to see all these industrial hotspots. Oh, God. You got a call from Northgate. I screwed up. No, 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 not at all. No, it's all good. I'm just uh, hanging out, okay? I'm just gonna be right down the hall here. See ya. <laughs> call me if you need anything. They call me names Cause I can't squeeze in comfortable there in your first class seat. Mm, it's nice not to be squishy. <laughs> you look beautiful. <laughs> Sorry. It's probably uh, not really politically correct, is it? 
Yeah, the sexual harassment has got to stop. <laughs> What's that? Oh, yeah, it's a uh, war wound. Got it when I was six, and I fell off my bike. It's pretty sexy, you know? Should probably change the story. Mm-mm. It all works just fine. We have talked about this before. What's that, Irma? Accuracy. I can't do my job unless you pay attention to the details. Why is it every time I come up here, I feel like I'm in the principal's office? You could just send your secretary. She's afraid of you. Smart girl. So what's the problem, then? Well, I ordered those geologic maps, but it was a big waste of money. And they are all over my butt about that kind of stuff. Why was it a waste of money? You were looking for drilling activity, right? That map is for an area that no one would drill. What? Like I said, you've got to pay attention to those details. You probably inverted the coordinates or something. And now I'm going to have to come up with some big song and dance for accounting. Well, there must be something wrong here. I mean, maybe research screwed up. No, already checked. They've confirmed what I already found. Ergo, that is not the problem. Ergo? Get out of here. And don't come back until you've got your back straight. Tom. Hansen. Hello. Tom Hansen. I'm Nico Edger Noah. Pleasure. Please. Pleasure. <clears throat> I spoke to Gerald Tolson to check you out. You understand? And he was very surprised that you were coming. I don't know why he would be. I mean, this is just uh, standard diligence. Is it? I know you are friends with Richard Caston. Such a shame. New York is safer than it was, but you still have to be very careful, don't you? So, what can I do to help you out with your diligence? I was looking at the uh, geologic maps, and they, uh, they show that oil fields are pretty sporadic in the areas where Black Star operates. Black Star's assets are very valuable, and our ability to find new sources of oil is unpredictable. So you must not be looking for all this data. As an example, here is pipeline reports. It shows that oil being delivered at the Kazakhstan terminal. How? Mr. Hansen, oil is already there, and I have no time to give you a tutorial on how oil gets from the ground to your local gas station. But Blackstar Oil will get your local gas station. And you can drive your German sports car with peace of mind. Anything else? Um, no, I don't, uh, I don't think so. May I take this or make a copy? Put it down, please. Very well.
Well, <clears throat> thank you very much for your time. <clears throat> Good day. I thought we solved our problem. No. Listen, if it's not there by tomorrow, just call me back. All right? Okay, thanks. Oh, sorry. All the other meetings went well. Of course, I never had any doubt. I'm sorry I abandoned you, but uh, it seemed like the right course of action to take. So you're not upset? No, no, not in the slightest. Uh, you, you saved my ass. Okay, then. So, uh, everything's all right? Everything is, uh, just great. Do you want to talk? Mr. Hansen, line one. Okay, well, I'm gonna... Let you get that, but uh, I'm gonna be at home later if you need anything. Okay. Tom Hansen. A less confident woman might think you were trying to blow her off. Anna, yes. Um, I'm sorry. It's been uh, it's been kind of crazy. Well, how about tonight? I would love to. I just um, I have a partners meeting in Greenwich. Of course you do. Listen, I will call you as. Bat in a thousand. <laughs> Please join me in toasting Tom Hansen. He has the diligence between his tax security and his merger transaction. Tom is single-handedly keeping us afloat this quarter. Thank you, Tom. Here, here. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, boy. Good luck, Steve. Right? <laughs> Cheers. Well, you're my hero. Hank's face was worth the price of admission. Yeah, well, let's hope it lasts. Well, better, because I'm planning a nice long ride on your coattails. Jerome, there's someone I wanted to talk I to you. Go.
Thought you should know. The oil lobby is kicking up quite a fuss over the alternative energy tax credit. You and your buddy Tom have stirred up a real hornet's nest. I've been asked to testify at the hearings this week. I can help you prepare. That won't be necessary. Shane's buddy's been asking about you. Here we go. Not for nothing, but uh, I don't think he's your type. I know options have value, but I wouldn't go there either. Thanks. Wish me luck. No fishing out the company pier. You have a vivid imagination, and you're in no position to talk. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Mm. That's true, yeah. That's good. <laughs> you're looking a little blue there, sport. Worried about your inheritance. Fuck you. This will go a lot smoother if you just tell me everything that's going on. Don't make me hurt you. Maybe I am about to break this up. Good idea. Looks like she's gonna kill him. May I? Mm. Please. I need to ask you a favor. I'd like to put you on Tom's merger deal. I, I know it's not what you came here to do, but I want some watching his back. Okay. Very good. You. Oh. Thanks for the heads up. Don't shoot the messenger. I did what I could. I'm sure you did. I hope Traeger appreciates it. You overestimate my influence. Setting aside the fees, doesn't it bother you in the slightest that a worthwhile program just died because you can't get over the past? Can't get over the past? I'm still trying to get the knife out of my back. That must be the one you slipped on while you were stabbing me. That's your story. Just remember, it's the winner's version that goes in the history books. Just came over the tape. I know. I'm sorry. I know how important this was to you. I am. Hank could barely keep the smile off his face. This was a big blow to all of us. I was looking like quite the hero there for a little while. You still have your big merger deal? me a few days on that one my dance card just freed up if you want some help Jerome asked me to Jerome huh my closest friend here I can trust him about as far as I can throw a goat although it is a lovely offer I might find it slightly distracting to work with you now unless you're planning on slamming the elevator in my face again elevators don't slam no, I wasn't planning on it. So what about Jerome? I don't want him to think I didn't follow orders. Knowing how you feel about the evils of capitalism, you can stay on the deal in name only. How's that? Thank you. Sleep tight. That's it. Come on, See let's you guys go. soon, OK? Bed. You get upstairs and get all tucked in, and then I'm gonna come up and give you a kiss, okay? Well, you seem to be doing okay. No, yeah, they're pretty tough little things. God, if it wasn't for them, I don't know how I would have gotten through this. Uh, was there, um, was there anything going on? I don't know. Never mind. Son of a bitch. I thought you were my friend, too. What? what are you telling me this now for? 
What, is she pregnant or something? Is that it? Sarah, what, what the fuck are you talking but about? But it was Lucy, right? He was having an affair with her. <laughs> he wasn't having an affair with me. He loved you. He loved the kids. Where, where, where are you getting this from? He was... He was so shut off from us those last couple months, and he was always on the phone with her. It's okay. <laughs> he was not having an affair. He loved you. I swear to you on my life. Okay? I do think that there was something going on at Condor. Something with one of his deals. If he has any files here, anything I could just take a look at, it might help me to understand what was going on. Some guy from Condor came and um, just boxed up all his stuff a day or two after the funeral. They took the computer, too. And you can look, but uh, if there was anything, I I I'm sure it's gone now. Thank you. Perfect. Perfect. Lucy, it's uh, Tom Hansen. I got some questions here about this uh, map. I'd love to get together. I'd rather not. It's kind of important. I don't know. No. For Richard, I think it would be important to just try to get to the bottom of this. Not here. Lucy, please call me, all right? It's very important. I know it's difficult, but just call me, all right? Lucy. Tom, it's Jared Tolson. Well, they were lurching at the board meetings and pushed up and will be held on the third. Uh, well, that's, uh, that's in five days. Not a problem. from there. Well, what does that mean? Well, it actually came out of the ground, as opposed to where it was delivered from. How can you find out? There's satellite tracking of tanker movements. We have consultants who watch the major ports. We employ a lot of former KGB agents. Well, how quickly can you track this down for me? It's not cheap. No, neither is my firm's reputation. Good news, though, is that it's not a human heart. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. You get a note or anything? Mm -hmm. You got any ideas who might have done this? Ex-girlfriend, someone who has a key? Well, I mean, a housekeeper and uh, an ex-wife. I mean, this is pretty extreme, even for her. It's... <laughs> you got a new girlfriend? Yeah, working on it. You'd be surprised. No matter what they say, they always care. 
probably thought it was poetic or something. Now, you can file a report, but dollars to donuts, it was your ex. My ex tried to kill my goddamn dog. Good night, sir. Good day. Sorry, I'm just... You okay? Um, well, uh, just taking a walk. It's a crazy day. You look like you could use a drink. Um, I'm meeting some friends downtown, but, uh... You should go. No, they can wait. They can wait. You want to go have a drink? No, I should probably just keep walking, really. Hey, no strings attached, okay? Honestly, we'll just talk. didn't upset you. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't think I got your message. Of course you did. I left it in your refrigerator. I'm sorry. I'm not much of a cook. What the fuck are you talking? Did you put that in my fridge? Subtle, no. But you seem to be having a problem getting the message. <laughs> message? What fucking message? What the fuck is wrong with you? A souvenir for you. He asked too many questions also. Fucking bitch! Your reputation preceded you, but you disappoint us. You should grab the 25 million while the offer is still on the table. Oh, fuck you, Jeff! I know. I know it's, it's hard to lose a best friend. I wonder if it is worse to lose a girlfriend. Of course, you've only known her for a few months, but this one is special, isn't she? It's one way to get rid of the competition. You want to protect her? Keep her out of it. And get the fucking deal done. concerned that you're out so late. Uh, call me back whenever. I never sleep. You know me. Dina, call the data center and have Abby's name deleted from all the lists associated with the Condor deal. Now. Working hard, I see. Oh, just uh, taking a little break. <laughs> you caught me. I, uh, I found this file under some of Richard's old clothes. Mm. Maybe you can make sense of it. It looks like it's an Arabic. Arabic? Oh, yeah. Do you want me to get you some coffee? No, no. Thanks. I, I gotta run to my strength appointment. Wouldn't want to miss that. Very good. Whatever's in that file, I 
I hope it helps. Thank you. For what? For the other night. <clears throat> I love you. Yeah, I love you too. Hey, is this bad time? Um, shut the door, please. I, uh, want you off the, uh, Condor team, officially. Okay. But, uh, <clears throat> are you worried how that might look? Worried? No, no, no. I'll just, uh, explain to them that I need somebody who's actually qualified to help me. <laughs> qualified? Well, maybe you don't understand how that sounds. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I, uh, offend your delicate sensibilities? What's wrong with you? Listen, there's nothing. I just, I don't know. I came to my senses. You know, what the hell am I doing, risking my career for a little indoor sports? It's insane. Indoor sports? Yeah, exactly. So you've analyzed the risk factors, and this deal no longer pencils out. I mean, with the tax credit debt, I'm no longer a hot stock. Forget it ever happened, please. Maybe you found a lower risk investment. Higher return, too, baby. Fresh and dry hole mean anything to you? Shane, don't be such a pig. You know what your mind is. I was talking about her deal. Dry wells. It's not my deal. Norm. He just wants to be attached to the biggest fee of the year. I'm gonna grab some air. Sorry to scare you. Hey, I saw you take off, and you were the only reason I showed up in the first place. It's okay. I've just had a really bad week. All right, that's okay. <laughs> How about we go someplace quiet? Hmm? No, I just want to go home. Hey, okay, I'll walk you. If that's all right. Sure. You know, I feel stupid. I can walk home myself. You're not in Kansas anymore. You scared the shit out of me. He said he'd walk me home. I'll be fine. Oh, I'm sure he did. Just get in the cab. Okay. The division will be sponsoring a two-day mini-conference in 2000. Uh, listen, I'm kind of under the gun here. What do you want? Well, I won't keep you. I just thought you should know there were some rumors about the Condor deal. Would you excuse us, please? Listen to me. This thing is highly confidential. You shouldn't be speaking to anyone. Well, I'm not saying a word. That's what everyone else is saying. Not exactly in the mood to do you any favors, but I have a friend at the energy department. Listen, please, the last thing I need is your high-level connections, all right? I've got it under control. Well, I just thought this firm was all about client service. I'm trying to get the deal done because that is what the client wants. It's heartwarming that you want to protect him, but it's not necessary. Really. I was trying to protect you. Now, if Shane's right, then you're really fucking up. Listen, there's a lot of people that would love to see this deal fall apart for a myriad of reasons, but it is my job to make sure that it succeeds. 
Well, maybe it's your job if it doesn't. Abby, just let it go, all right? I can't afford to lose this one. I've lost a lot of money recently. <laughs> You've lost more than that. Fuck. Wow. I really fell for his bullshit. Oh. Don't be so hard on yourself. I mean, you came to Delaney to do something important. Yeah, well, so much for that. Fuck this. It's because Tom's a shit. It's not just Tom, it's the way this... It's what the whole firm stands for. <clears throat> Normally I wouldn't interrupt an important gathering like this, but I'm desperate for coffee. Tom and I don't see eye to eye on a lot of things. But he was right about you. Although I've expected someone so bright to be a bit more inquisitive. Always question your assumptions. Let me guess. Your new investment banking associate. What company are you working on? Actually, I'm competing with some of the guys on this big assignment, and I was hoping you could make me look smart enough to blow them out of the water. Well, you've come to the right place. We girls gotta stick together. Come on. Thank you. As you can see, there's tons of oil in this whole region. So Kazakhstan has a lot of oil? Oh, well, some places, but the rest, not so much. Tom Hansen sent me on a goose chase. Had me order maps for an area that was almost totally dry. Hmm. I would have been really pissed if he wasn't so cute. Now, the Confederation of Arab States is a different story. Any place you drill a hole there is gonna yield a ton of oil. Yeah, which might explain why we're at war with them. Yeah, but because we are at war, it's illegal to import any oil from there. So I wouldn't waste your time on that. work in my boss's office and he will kill me. Do you have a key? Yes, I hope you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Lifesaver. Thank you. Because you're out of lives, buddy. This deal goes down the toilet, so does your career. Well, I should start looking for another job. Well, just hold it together for a couple of days till the board meeting. Then you go off and have your nervous breakdown. I'll even pay for the hospital bills. I'll be fine. Good. And I swear, looking out for you is getting to be like a full-time job. No longer employed? Do you have a forwarding number? Actually, this is personal. Yeah, okay. Thank you. We have most of the pieces in place. But it's still not enough. And we're running out of time. without breaking any laws. 
Lucy? Yes. Hi. This is Abby Gallagher. I'm, I, I work for Delaney. <clears throat> and I have some questions on Black Star. I can't help you. How, how did you find me? No. I tracked you down myself. Who knows you're calling me? No one knows I called you. Tom has no idea. Are you absolutely sure? Are you sure? I'm 100% sure. Do you know Faneuil Hall? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I went to school in Boston. Six o'clock. Okay. Six o'clock in front of Faneuil Hall. Okay. I'll give you five minutes. See you there. Thank you. Janice, what's happening in Boston? The Harvard recruiting. Oh. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, heavy traffic around Logan International has delayed our arrival. Uh, we'll be in a holding pattern. We'll get you down as soon as possible. Shit. I hope you know what you're doing. I appreciate your confidence. That's a very big meeting tomorrow. Just make sure you've got your facts straight, or we're all going down with the ship. What is your fucking problem? There's no oil there. That's my fucking problem. Stop thinking about your career for just one second and think about the firm. This fairness opinion puts us all on the line. The shareholders will take our fucking houses if you're wrong. If there's no oil there, then how did Blackstar deliver my client 500,000 barrels? Sorry, I was late. I'm in front of Daniel Hall. Call me. Shit. Hey, buddy. Just starting your workout. Uh, no, I was here earlier. I uh, forgot my cell phone. That is a crisis, huh? You're sweating. Okay. Oil company A buys oil company B for its oil field assets. But what if there is no oil? But what if? I mean, come on, it happens all the time. That's the inherent risk. You drill for oil, you come up dry. That's why oil stocks have such a high beta. Is this a big deal? Yeah, 20 billion, give or take. You know, you're gonna have a lot of pissed off shareholders, not to mention a fired CEO. Yeah, well, not if they're still getting the oil. Well, I, let me get this straight. There is no oil, but there is oil. Mm hmm Your information is good? Straight from the source. Well, oil is fungible. One barrel is like any other, wherever it comes from. So in other words, the oil they're delivering could come from anywhere. Good 
work, Mongoose. Watch out for the snakes. Think of me as half stalker, half guardian angel. Uh, come on, I'll take you home. How'd you know I'd be here? find it romantic but at this point i'll settle for you just getting in the car before we drown yeah god that'll be great thanks come on for Delaney and Strong, which means you don't do anything that might undermine the client. That's too tough a concept for you to swallow you at the wrong goddamn firm, you prick. Do you think blowing Hank is gonna save your ass when this thing implodes? You're dead wrong. He'll be the first one to fucking bail on you. It's almost showtime. You ready? I can't find the goddamn file. Well, just wing it. You'll be fine. You know, this one is a person lying in the tracks for your slot in the management committee. Messenger just delivered this. What is Said it? it was urgent. Something about your board meeting. You want to be alone? Bondage excite you? The Croatia. Don't forget what's at stake here. The Hoshish Umarab Zayato Kusok Dirma, Etot Vayorashenye. Tagdamara, the O, no Bismenya. Don't tell me it's legit after all. It's a scam, exactly what you thought. Then what is it? Should we really be doing this? Is this the right thing for the firm? What the fuck is wrong with you? 
Of course this is the right thing for the firm. Not to mention the fact that your dad will be dancing in the streets when this deal dies. Give me those. Where is he? Oh, I'm sorry. They're running a little behind. Would you like some coffee? Gentlemen, may I introduce Tom Hanson? Sorry to keep you waiting. We'll get right to it. I need to speak with you privately. Yeah. Uh, why don't we take a break for a slight repast? You're Russian mafia. It's so black and white. It's not like your country. We aren't so wedded to our laws. Please, don't kill me. Let's get one thing straight. They like you, but not enough to die for you. So you're gonna keep me until the Condor meeting is over, and then what? Not my decision. Whose decision? Hers. Her boyfriend's. Tom's. If you don't mind my saying so. You have terrible taste in men. How the fuck do you sleep at night? I'm not following. You killed Richard, and so help me God, if something happens to Abby, I swear to God, I will hunt you down, I will kill you. I don't know anything about that. I neither condone nor authorize the activities of our partners. I simply accept them as a necessary evil. Necessary evil? Have you tried to fill your car lately? How about the effects of the oil shortage on our floundering economy? Don't give me that horse shit. There's plenty of untapped resources right here in the U.S. And environmentalists chaining themselves to fences to protect their precious ecosystem. There are no easy choices. So then your choice is to get in bed with the Russian mafia to buy oil from the CAS, who then use that money to wage war against us. They launder our oil, we launder their money. Is that about how it works? If we don't buy that oil, the French or the Chinese will be more than happy to take it off their hands and then sell us back a meager portion of it at even higher prices. Welcome to the real world. Fuck you. And fuck you. What's so damn urgent that it required an emergency executive committee meeting? I was with some important clients. The Condor board is meeting as we speak, and I believe the firm is at risk. I'd like to call Tom out of the meeting and stop this before it's too late. What's the problem? I have reason to believe that Tom, given his lack of industry knowledge, hasn't done adequate diligence. And if he makes a mistake... Sorry I'm late. The shareholder suits could bankrupt the firm. What kind of mistake, Hank? Gentlemen, sorry to cut your meal short, but we'd like to press forward in our discussion of Black Star. Tom? I think we can all agree, given the oil shortage, that the timing couldn't be more auspicious for this deal to go forward. I thought you might be thirsty. All I'm saying is that there are some elements of this deal that Tom may have left unexamined. That's ridiculous, Hank. Now, let's not forget this fee is pretty darn important to us. I'll see the doors of this firm shuttered before I condone any unethical behavior, whatever the fees. Now, get Tom on the phone.
firm stands to profit rather handsomely from this transaction, <clears throat> that wouldn't, by chance, be coloring your judgment. Attractive as the fee is, Delaney and Strong built its reputation on long-term as opposed to short-term greed. The ultimate cost of endorsing a bad deal is way too high. Excuse me, gentlemen. Family emergency. <clears throat> Well, you still haven't told us where you got your information from, Hank. Is this your spy network again? Some super secret satellite tracking of oil tankers? It's irrelevant. Yeah. Tom, sorry to pull you out of your meeting, but, uh... We have a question here regarding due diligence. Uh, Tommy, did you find that file? No, no, but, uh... It's not a problem. It's not a problem. I've got it under control. I can handle it. Well, this is Rich Hank. The question isn't what Tom is doing. It is Hank who's put the firm at risk. He's violated our confidentiality agreement to torpedo a deal that could potentially harm his biggest client. Not to mention a chance to destroy Tom's career. That's not what this is about, and you know Bullshit! it. That's enough. Hank, where did you get this information? That's not the point. Fail. Yeah. Tom, for my own peace of mind, have we been sufficiently diligent? Are the shareholders protected? Tom? Get what they're paying for. Godspeed. Theo! Hey, get up! Theo! What are you doing? Get up! Hey! Excuse us. Hank and I have some things to talk about. We've got the ball in the one yard line. Let's get this done. It's before I deliver that opinion, you deliver me, Abby. No. Just call Hank and have him deliver the... Please, event. if that were an option, you would have done it a long time ago. So spare me the horse shit, all right? Just wait here. Shows up here, all going to hell together. Well, it's all arranged. They're on the way to their private jet. As soon as they get word, they'll take off for Moscow. And Abby will be dropped off here once they're in the air. As soon as this deal is done, she's dead. You know that. I'm calling it off. Think about it, Tom. Funds transfer immediately upon board approval. And there's no extradition from Russia. So nothing she can say could hurt them. The only ones with their asses hanging in the breeze will be you and me. Oh, and your firm. So I'm counting on you to convince her to stay quiet. And they're smart enough to know that if anything happens to her, all bets are off. So you'll get your precious girlfriend back. <laughs> Just get my fucking deal done. Gentlemen, time has come to take this to a vote. Mr. Hansen, 
I believe a man's word is his bond. Well, I understand your firm is prepared to sign a fairness opinion at $20 billion. Well, what I'd like to hear is what you'd do, you personally, if you were sitting in my seat. If I vote to approve this transaction, am I doing right by the shareholders? No, I'm not. Где она? Джаред знает. Его люди. За свое говно ты будешь убирать сама. This transaction will improve shareholder value. If I didn't stand behind it 100%, it wouldn't be a signature in that letter. would absolutely vote to approve. It's done. Almost. Set up a meeting with the ethics task force right now. What are you talking about? No more games, all right? I know you're the mall. Just do it, all right? We're on our way. You went through with this because you were looking out for me. So in reality, I'm the reason why this deal went through. That's an interesting interpretation, but I'm sure you can claim plausible deniability. No! I'm, I'm, I'm serious. You only went through with this deal because you were trying to protect me. Which also explains why you were acting like such a dickhead. It was really effective. It was like trying to wave a red flag in front of a bull. So, what exactly is the plan now? Well, there's nothing we can do about the person pulling the strings in Russia. They're going to get their money. So what are you trying to do? The right thing. Tom, the Attorney General's been looking for a scapegoat, and if you tell the Ethics Task Force, they'll just crucify you. the Confederacy will just find someone else to buy that oil. You're sounding an awful lot like Jared Tulsi. Come on. Come on, let's just go. Listen, of all the people on the planet, you know this is something I have to do. You taught me that.
Oh, Hanson. Come with us. Why didn't you tell me? I'm sorry. I couldn't. I tried to protect you from Theo and... So did Tom. They can't prosecute him for that. And who are they? Where is he going? Agent Grazer. He's head of the New York office. Tom's going to meet him and Charles Lucas. Senator Charles Lucas. They went straight to the top of the food chain with this one. When they find Anna and Theo, they'll understand. He didn't have a choice. I'm sure you're right. deal is a scam to bring in oil from the CAS using the Russian mafia to funnel it through a shell company in Kazakhstan. You knew about this. And yet Delaney and Strong issued a fairness opinion. I signed that letter. I take full responsibility. Delaney and Strong had absolutely no knowledge. None. I find that hard to believe. In any event, they will share in your liability, which is significant. The SEC should jump on this immediately. The Attorney General is waiting for my call. Bob, can you give me a few moments with Mr. Hansen first? Certainly, Senator Lucas. You and I need to talk. This deal should definitely bring my career to a stunningly shameful conclusion. It could also spell the end of Delaney and Strong, the most prestigious firm on Wall Street. It could also destroy one of the largest oil companies in America. But it's not going to, is it? As soon as you walk through that door, you're going to tell your comrades to forget everything they've heard. The deal's going to go through. The stock market will rally. The administration will celebrate probably by appointing Jared Tolson to some kind of cabinet position. The public will never know the price it's paid for this oil. Will it? What you have done, Tom, is to allow us to continue to fight a war we must win. That we will win. In my book, in America's book, that makes you a true patriot. They get the oil, they just want it. As far as they're concerned, this deal's a winner. That's horrifying. Yet I am strangely elated. You know, Senator Lucas is a very powerful man. And you know a few things that could hurt the administration. Uh, they're not gonna hurt me. No, I was thinking they could help you. Us, actually. I mean, you could use that leverage to revive the alternative energy tax credit. Janice could help. You're serious? 
Yeah, I mean, I know what I want. And all the good intentions in the world won't save the planet. It's a good speech. Mm. I should remember that.